Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of dermoid cyst. A 19 years old female patient came with lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section of the pelvic region showing a well filled urinary bladder. This is the uterus in transverse section and you can see a well defined oval to round homogeneous hyperechoic mass at the left adnexal region. Color Doppler shows no definite internal vascularity. And this mass is attenuating the sound. You can see the distal part looks relatively darker than the anterior part. This feature indicates this as a fat ball. This type of hyperechogenic sound attenuating mass indicates it as cystic teratoma or dermoid. Left ovary could not be separately visualized here. Here's the magnified view and you can see this dermoid here. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus and you can see this hyperechogenic structure at the pelvic region. If it was an endometrioma, then there should not be any sound attenuation like this. So this is a case of dermoid cyst. Here you can see the sound attenuating hyperechogenic round well-defined mass. It measures about 66 by 60 millimeter. Again a magnified image and you can see it's attenuating the sound. The posterior part looks relatively darker than the anterior part due to attenuation of sound beam by its fat content. So in summary, a well-defined round to oval sound attenuating hyperechogenic homogeneous mass is noted at the left adnexal region. The left ovary could not be separately visualized. Color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. So the features suggest it as a dermoid cyst or cystic teratoma. Now the take home message. The sound attenuating feature may help differentiate between dermoid and endometrioma in confusing cases. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.